Welcome back to everyone to the Lobster Roll Series Week 1 Grand Finals. Is that what it says at the bottom? Because I didn't change that during the intermission. Grand Finals! And we are in with Dregs and Randy, who will be finishing up the tournament. And... Anyway, and that is going to be, as a Dregs and Randy, they will be figuring out the map so far. Yeah, so this has been an interesting day. Of course, the Lobster Roll series is a weekly tournament starting this week that will be going on for, I believe, 10 weeks. And which, it's kind of an interesting start. I mean, it was a lot of DQs at first. Not a lot of people showed up. But that, that's normal. That's normal. It's kind of worked out. People still getting used to how Smash GG works. This is the first time we've used Smash GG for a tournament. Normally, we use Challenge, and the Tournament Organizer Crow is more used to Smash GG. And to be fair, Smash GG does have some nicer features than Challenge. The only problem, of course, is that people aren't used to it. It's a lot more player-oriented. You get a lot of people... Yeah, I have a lot of checking in going on to the players, and they have to organize stuff in the tournament thing itself, which for... For the tournaments we normally run isn't that usually that big of a deal, but then again, this is apparently what the TO is used to, so that's what we're doing. So with that, we are going to have Yeah, I am sorry. I am So I'm also I am half organizing this it seems like. So just trying to make sure everything is going solid with this. And I'm gonna get pull Google Frog on because it's nice to have Google Frog as the co-caster, and they also got third place, so they're not playing anymore. Hey, Google Frog, how's it going? Hello, I'm okay. Yep, good. It's become eight, so that's a bit better. Well, that's handy. Congrats on third place. Thanks. I could tell these two have got the meta. Yeah, it seems like. I mean, it's not surprising. You see been playing. Yeah. Drake's been playing loads. Kind of surprised shield bots were as effective as they were in the last match, though. I guess the early, I mean, I think in the early convict really pulled it out. It's like if you think about it a little bit, you can see, oh yeah, that could work well here, but you gotta yeah. see it happen. Anyway, looks like are we gonna have prestige? Looks like we're gonna have prestige. I think last time I played that map, I played Rover, thinking I could maybe just ignore the center, and then. Badger push around the bottom. Oh, I'm although it prestige? turned out that sorry, Anvil, Anvil would. Oh, an Anvil would, yeah. Although it turned out that you expand slightly too slowly, so by the time you end up, you know, hitting each other at the bottom, the density is a bit too um, great. So yeah. It's really a map, especially if Anvil would. It's really a map you have to play a lot to just feel what the timings are. Like, how long does it take to expand around a side? How long does it take to reclaim the middle? Yeah, especially reclaiming the middle, because that's clearly... That is huge. But then, of course, once that's done, then you only have about you know, 20 yeah. metal per second on metal extractors. And obviously couldn't see much of what he was doing, but he seemed to have a plan. And I mean, his plan basically was three, into... three convicts into reclaim, and then turn that into an early felon. Yeah. That was how it played out. But anyway, we're going to be moving on to the... Potentially the last one, I think. I think it's the best of three. I no, I think... I, I don't know. It's like... I think with Dregs... Because they're talking about it, it sounds like Dregs thinks it should be best of one. But if Randy wins, we move on to... Like, the second Grand Finals, which is a typical way of doing double okay. win. I don't know if that's exactly what would happen. I think Smash GG does that by default. Um, 
Yeah, because Dregs has a life. Yes, exactly. Yeah, Dregs came in from the winter side, so they are they have a life. If they lose, then they have they are basically in losers with Brand, Ra with Randy, and then the winner of that wins, yep. unless they win, in which case that's that's it. That makes sense. And actually, we were on Prestige again. Dregs and Randy were playing Prestige last time, and now it's different. Randy was playing Corner Spiders. Now they're playing Center Cloaky. Dregs playing Center Hover. Okay. So no cliff action. Not intentional. Well, I can see the Cloakies being walking up and down the ramps, but not from Dregs. No, those. I think the Hovercraft can't even go up there. Uh, yeah, Hovercraft put a few are... swings up the top. A few glaives up the top would cut down those mexes on the corners. Yeah, that's... In a way that's hard to dislodge. I I expect that's going to happen. I mean, it's Randy we're talking about here. They're a tricky player. <laughs> I don't think they're going to let that trick slide. Yeah. I think it would stop that. That's true. But the only thing they can build a picket is Drex's commander. Like, up up there. Or I guess you could have well, one on the have edge. A picket and... shooting over the edge. Yeah. If, That's true. If the glaive can shoot down, the peak can shoot up. If you place it right, yeah. Yeah, just place it a bit far back. Uh, they will scout each other soon, though. Although Randy not revealing their factory. In fact, not building anything in their factory right now. They only have the two conjurers rapidly getting their economy and defenses going. Maybe they really wanted to know what factory they were facing. Like, perhaps... Anyway, Randy has been revealed. Dregs knows they are fighting a cloaky bot factory. And we are getting bullas. Should we be getting bullas anyway because bullas are really bloody strong. But, you know, now we're getting them specifically to deal with glaives. Although dagger as well. So dagger, bola, that is Dregs' approach right now. Though again, like last time, it looks like they're going much more defensive and... It's working out, getting a lot of reclaim to play with. Yeah, Drex is playing the reclaim while Randy's trying to expand. In a solid way, with two constructors in one location. Which is kind of unusual, actually. Normally I see Randy split the constructors, but on a map like this, I'm not surprised. It's way too sparsely populated with mexes to have send constructors in multiple different directions. And Dagger is faster, so... You can have trouble. Yeah, this this makes a lot of sense. It's one of those adjustments that Ooh, you don't necessarily Drex think is of. Going right oh, there's these. the imp. Oh, yep. There's the imp. And there's the glaives. And there's a bunch of dead daggers. Yeah, they had, they'd never had a chance. Oh, Nicely good done, off, Perhaps. I oh, know, just oh. a max. No, the raiders will defend in time. Oh, well, that gives Dregs some relief. I mean, they can at least reclaim that and rebuild pretty quickly. But man, I can't lose that tick, though. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's the thing, you know, they've... Apparently they're showing the brackets, not the game. Oh, I'm so sorry! Ah, I got distracted. Sorry about that! Uh, once a tournament, I guess. Oh, well. I'm sorry. Suck for YouTube. Okay, anyway, there's a really nice tick over here. What's been happening has been that Randy has been expanding very slowly with two conjurers across the map. Dregs has been going hover, mostly for daggers. A lot of them got caught out here by an imp, taking them all out. A bunch of glaives just wiped them out for free. And then after that, it's just been kind of standard expansion all around. Randy's going sideways while Dregs is going forwards. Dregs hasn't taken his back yet, whereas Randy has. And I mean, Randy's gearing up for Com Wars with some slings and some uh, Ronin. Yeah. Can't say I'm surprised, though. Randy has a bit of a disadvantage mobility-wise. And he's got a lot of turrets on the south side. So maybe his plan is Com Wars north and defend south. I don't know if that's going to work, though. We're seeing the bullets and scalpels coming over here to the southwest, and it's not defended. There's a Lotus. Well, that doesn't count. Well, he's got constructors there. Maybe he'll defend it. You know, a work in progress. Ah, that's true, that's true. They are coming up to actually do exactly that. And it's double rocket commander? No, single rocket and some Ronin. But Dregs only has the jump ability, which they're probably going to use... Well, are they going to soon? I mean, they're doing some decent do rocket dodging. 
Still, though, they're not wanting to stay put if they can help it. Same time, though, we do have Bolas and Scalpels coming around the side. That army is trouble. Those two Conjurers are really doing well because it, the army doesn't really want to face defenses. Right. Although and the Comwar slings Conjurers. have been intercepted. Yeah, I was about to say that Comwars aren't really as much of a thing. Drax has gotten away. Randy did manage to take the north side, though. But that just evens, thing, evens things out. Dreg still has an economic advantage. And now they're... Ah, now the bulls have caught up. The slings are dead. The Ronin might survive, but the slings are all dead. Now the Ronin's done, That's too. Actually, that hover army is actually quite a bit more expensive. It's 10,000. It's 1,000 metal versus... 1,000, 1,000. Yeah. Of hovers. That's only, what, 600 cloakies, so... Yeah, but it was also without any losses. Oh, and, yeah, the slings, and the, yeah, slings no. are barely combat units, at least close yeah. together. And also the bolts are going to be really good for the counterattack attempt with the glaives. Again, so far... It's just so a far, nice, compact, deceptively expensive army, which is hard to take down with glaives. Yep. You'd probably take it down with costing glaives, but that would be very tricky. To and that would amass. also mean you wouldn't have anything else to counter anything else. Although the bullets are going down slowly but surely, and the Glaives managed to intercept all the scalpels, completely ripping apart the army. And now that's definitely costing Glaives. That's more than costing Glaives. Bullets not doing a bad job retreating, though. That slow beam is saving its life. But unfortunately, it stopped. It just stopped moving. It didn't have any more move orders. And that is the last of that bolus. And now this... Expansion is defended. Yeah. Which is looking nice. Although Dregs has just built a lance. That's tricky. I don't know. I I can see what Dregs is doing what they're doing. And given the army they had before, they had a decent support force. But now it's Drex's army is really cost dense. It's really metal dense. And Randy, they're kind of taking advantage of at any point where Dregs starts attacking, Randy just builds up defenses and army elsewhere like dregs would kind of need to be able to hit on all sides to really take out randy and that's just not how dregs is building their army right now randy's commander is uh within lance range mm -hmm. if he gets a surprise hit off there is that little wall in the way though yeah nah, it's also, a ramp, you can probably shoot over it Probably. Also, fine stuff asking in chat if there's a unit for cloakies that can fight bolus. I'm thinking knight. It's a little bit more expensive, but or actually, it's a lot more expensive. I think Ronin's are bad. As in, Ronin's just so much cheaper. Bolus is expensive. Yeah. Yeah, when you're thinking so in terms the of cost. So the went yeah. off. Lance That revealed. it did. That it very much did. Com Wars won by Dregs. Now the north side will go over to them. But of course, like I said before, Randy likes to be attacking on multiple fronts, and so far they are also set up in a way that they can't really be attacked. Like, there's imps everywhere. There's defenses all around the south side of the map. Like, anywhere that Randy gets hit, they are prepared for. Although I like if he manages uh, to stun out this army and then rush in with Glaives, I think he has to, yeah, he's just making pure Glaive. That's clearly the plan. I'm a bit I think concerned. He sniped the imp with Ooh. the lance. Yeah, accidentally, but did. I Opened think that was on purpose. Up. That would be a good read if it was. He could have shot the lotus, and the imp was hit. The imps are not as tall as lotuses if you Wait. have a look at them. No, but if we look at the. No, that lance didn't have vision. That was radar, I think. He previously had vision. Oh, okay, well. He probably saw it. Cloak. Ah, that would make sense. And then attack ground. Good Although, move, though. the Raiders are still out of position and got killed by a few Glaives. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It's clearly, Dregs is a little concerned about the Imps. They're rightly paranoid, but unfortunately, that's meaning their army positioning is kind of messy. And Randy's taking full advantage Halbert of that. Halbert can deal with that. That's true. Halbert can tank them. Well, Halberds can take whatever they like and then reveal an Imp. Yeah. Oh, speaking of, doesn't matter though. That one imp was wasted. That's the north side basically open. Drag can move around at their leisure. 
Oh, well, land's coming over the north. Lands, though. Yeah, well, that's obviously the the key asset. Oh no, imp not wasted. Maybe those glaives do something. No, the halberd okay, got up and done. Not quite in time. Oh, they killed a scalpel. That's true. They and killed a scalpel, and the halberd did go down. So that was worth it. And more importantly, the that rest of the army got out of position, nearly leaving the lance to completely twist in the wind. That was close. That might even be cost. As in, the thing to remember is that Dreg's army here, I guess if you count, don't count the commander, is about it's twice as expensive. More than twice as expensive. That's true. Although, if you look at the attrition stats, though, Dreg's is ahead by 1,500 metal. So even if it is twice as expensive, Dreg's has been really efficient with it. All yes. things considered. Or in the past. Yeah, has been efficient with it so far. Speaking of those, that is slings... the difficulty of Cloaky. Yeah, they are cheap. <laughs> they are cheap and you can get a lot of them. And then they just... Doesn't matter if you want an attrition sometimes. There's Nimbus coming out. There is on Which the just slings. Which is going to cause another issue to deal with. Man, I don't see Randy switching off. Oh, they have some gremlins. Okay, they got something to defend. So it's definitely pressure. I mean, the slings cannot deal with that. Though, uh, Dreg's lost the south side, but their static economy is so strong right now, it doesn't matter. That imp could be hit. That'd be big. Ooh, yeah, if that imp goes off. Although, Gosh. if there's no imps in the sea, you can be sure of that. Yeah, but the, most, the easiest path from the sea to that base is through the imp. So Randy has still yes. placed it well. Oh, no, oh he moving off. around, though. Ah, uh, that might I, have been a misclick. Might have been? I'm not sure. I think it might have been spotted. But, yeah, it looks like it was a misclick. Yeah, it was. Oh, that sucks, because Dregs... Dregs can't quite see it. On I think... Side. Oh, it was on radar, though. No, it did pop up on radar. So they might have... They might have clued in. That, oops. They might have clued in that something went something went to that area and then suddenly hit, which is probably an imp. Ah, uh, and the blast wings clear out imps. Yeah, there they go. There they go. Good thinking, dregs. Clear out glaives, too, actually. Or at least do a considerable amount of damage. Yeah, force them, them out of the to way. retreat and repair. They repair the damage pretty quickly, but those That's true. lots of fire cannot be walked through if you want to have a strong army. Yeah, not only that, it, more importantly, it opens, it causes the retreat, opening up the expansion. Hmm. So Dreg's still taking territory, if nothing else. So the Glaives obviously are going to want to have their revenge. And there are many of them, there's like two dozen of them. That is still a scary army to fight. Bulls coming around, getting ambushed by the Glaives. The remaining Bulls, however, are going to be able to take out all the Glaives. Or at least the ones that choose not to retreat. Most of them, however, do get out of there alive. That seemed efficient. That I seemed very efficient. I think he had to retreat at that point. Yeah. Still, though, Dregs does have the advantage, remaining with attrition. And territory and economy. Dregs is completely dominating this map. The only thing, really, that Randy has going for them is 17 glaives. And the sling pressure. Dregs has pre-built a bunch of stardusts to counter this um, glaive sortie. Oh... Uh, I can see... Yeah, I think Randy's going to avoid the Stardust. So I'm thinking, in sheer numbers, the Glaives could kill the Stardust, but they'd lose most of their number in the process. Oh, but oh, no, Randy's going, going for it. it! And like I said, most of the Glaives were lost. In fact, all of the Glaives were lost thanks to the Gauss turret. And with that, Randy has kind of got nothing left. Yeah. What? Maybe he had to cloak in some Glaives just to snipe a lance. Because that'd be quite I... possible. It's too little too late, I think. I mean, yeah, I would love to see on. that, because the Conjurers, of course, have area cloaks, so you can use that any time. But... He's actually yeah, got that. no... very little hover. He's just going Nimbus. Which you can do. You can it's figure working. the economic yeah. advantage is great enough that countering Nimbus costs too much for the um, defending player. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's 2,000 metal worth of Nimbuses. You're going to need to have probably a dozen Gremlins in order to be able to deal with that. And with the Nimbuses continually applying pressure, those gremlins simply can't be built in large enough numbers in time. Not a dozen, but yeah, quite a few. Still not enough. The Nimbuses can take them out one at a time and static really AA is not much more effective, it. but then you're building static AA everywhere. Yeah, I mean, Randy, we saw in the game... Trying to hold three uh, expansion points. Yeah, we saw in the game between Bloa and Randy that 
you know, static AA. Static AA is, well, it's static, and that static element is a real problem. But still, raids are coming in there. The main base is essentially unassailable by Nimbuses, but then, who well, cares? It's only one. Lance comes in. Yeah, it's only one. The it's Lance is going to come in and rip to shreds. Like, as soon as one of those Lances gets a shot. Oh, no, going for the. Really? I don't think I'm going for the Razor. Take that out first. Three Nimbus can kill one Razor. At some cost, though. Uh, they can retreat. I think if they want to spend time, they can do it just fine. Fair enough. It doesn't really matter, though. It does it's... put their health quite low, though. They can't yeah. do it repeatedly. No, and it also doesn't matter because the Razor has just com opposition on the ground, tearing it to shreds. And that is it! Randy throws in the towel! And we have our champion for the first week of the Lobster Rule series, Dregs. Congratulations! And good games. Well... Probably. I'm sure I'm entirely sure I want the format is. Okay. Dregs probably won this. Double check. I think they did because they won. They're on the winner side. It we was were talking about before. best of one, as in. Um, yeah. The initial plan was best of Crow. one. Crow? Crow. Yeah. Name. It, it's Crow. Crow. It's, it's a reference to a show. I. Yeah, the character's name's Crow. Well, the okay. character's name is Crow and therefore the the person who uses that name is probably also intending to pronounce as Crow. I... I don't know I'm being dismissive. I like that show. But anyway. <laughs> the point is that, as far as I know, the initial plan was best of one. And as we were discussing before, Dregs does have that extra life. And they were, they were saying that they figured that they would need to win one, but, one, but Randy would need to win two. Yes. And considering that Dregs oh, yeah, won Drake one... Said, my take is I should have to win once, and Randy should have to beat me twice. Yeah. Which is yep. basically what you'd expect for a best of one on a double elimination. So that is that. We have our champion, Dregs. Second place is Randy. Third place is Google Frog over here. And... Then I guess fourth place. Do we have a fourth place? Yeah, blow is fourth. Hey, blow is fourth place. How about that? Yep. Good job, them. New player. I'm actually quite impressed by by their by their playing in the adaptation. They were they seem to be doing quite well. I'm curious to see how they're going to yeah, be playing out good. as we go further. All right. Anyway, that is that. So thank you to Crow for organizing. Thank you to all the players for playing. Thanks, Google Frog, for co-commentating the finals. And thank you all for watching. Have a good night, everyone. Good night. Or good morning. Yeah, whichever, whichever is appropriate. <laughs>